A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. During the years of unrest that followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors, and for once his great strength and courage his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Lone Silver, on the trail of the Black Girl. Lone Silver, away! <laughs> One of the wonders of the West was the Valley of the Yellowstone, with its geysers and bubbling hot springs. Its rocky slopes were known to the Indians and to the early settlers. One day, young Jed Parker and his uncle, Rack Torrance, were alone beside one of the bubbling geysers, but they were not friendly. Instead, they were fighting. Slipping and skidding, young Jed and his heavier, taller uncle traded punches. At any moment, one of them might fall into the seething pit below them. Take that, you young whelp. I'll give better than you can hand out. Come away from the edge of that geyser and I'll whip the daylight out of you. Who's of this? We'll fight it out right here. Rack, what? I'll fall in. I'll show you, young whippersnapper. Let go of me. Let go. Look. Blazes. That's one way to stop a fight. Get away from the geyser. Mister, this here's our... He well, tried to push me in. I fired those shots in the air as a warning. That geyser's going up. Come away from it and hurry. Who are you? There's so much mist and steam, I can't make you out. Well, your horses travel, mister. This ain't... Oh. Water, get ready to go up the sky. Get back, both of you. Back out of the way. Grab the boy, Tonto. Uh-huh. You come up, Tonto. Get yeah. away. Get away fast. Follow the boy. Run. Here, Silver. Here's Scout. How much further? Keep going. Keep moving. Is he getting ready to raise a roof? Uh-huh. This far now. Stay here behind this outcome of rock. Pull, Silver. Pull, Scout. Pull, Tonto. Mister, you and the engine come just in time. Rack Torrance was going to push... Well, I'll be jiggered. You're wearing a mask. You're an outlaw, that's what. A fine hombre to be heard and heard on other folks' affairs. Now, let me tell you something, man. Save your breath, Torrance. Right now, that guy's just going to do the talking. Uh, I, sir, uh, it talked plenty loud. Now, Mr. Torrance, you were saying... Golly, well, if we'd been that close when it went off... That steamer would have scalded us bad. Yeah, yeah, that's so. And you meant to push me in. You meant to get rid of me. Jed Parker, your little pumpkin head. There's your temper again. You did. Uncle or no uncle, that's what you tried to do. Why? Steady, Torrance. Yeah, thanks, mister. But Jed's got such all fired trouble with that temper of his, sometimes I almost lose mold. You fight. Sure, we slung a few knuckles engine. 
You want to know who started it? Ask the kid. You got me mad. I wouldn't steady, have done... Steady, steady, Jed. Now, let's have it straight. Did you start the fight? Well... Did you? Yeah, I, I reckon I did. But Rack had no call to put names on my paw. So that's it, Torrance. Well, I didn't mean nothing. Shucks, his dad's my stepbrother. Just, just a mite touchy, that's all. Now, forget it, kid. I'm sorry. Well, Kino, Rack, I guess I was sort of hair-triggered at that. Had a boy. Now let's get our horses and head back for home. There they are, over that way. Here, boy. Mister. Yes? Don't pay no mind to what the boy said. He's got notions, that's all. You were going at it hot and heavy when Tonto and I came up. Well, a youngster needs a hiding every once in a while. But I'm glad you stopped us. There might have been a nasty accident. It might not have been an accident. Well, you're acting that way, huh? Well, get this, masked man. You and the engine keep your mouth shut tight about this, or... Or what, Torrance? Or I might let it out that I've seen a masked man riding these parts. The sheriff's mighty interested in outlaws. You keep shut up, and I'll do likewise. Here you are, Rack. Pile on your pinno. We're due back at the ranch in time for supper. Steady. Oh, steady. <coughs> Adios, mass man. Adios, engine. Adios. Get up there, boy. Get up. Adios, mister. Remember what I told you. Get up there. Get up there. Uh, him bad. Him speak with forked tongue like rattlesnake. We see him. Tonto say him try to push boy into ge geyser. We're heading south, Tonto. You believe what him say? Do you? No. Boy, him good. Man, him bad. I agree with you, Tonto. Wherever Rack Torrance is, there'll be trouble. Ah, and why you let him go? Why you not find out what's wrong, huh? We will, Tonto. How? How you do that? This country all rock. They not leave trail for us to follow. We won't have to follow them to learn where they live, Kimosabe. Huh? Didn't you notice the brand on their horses? The Flying W. That's where we'll find them. The Flying W Ranch. <laughs> Parker, do you adore my friends? You see my boy? Kid? Who else? You only got but one. Ain't he back yet? Back. I never knew he left. Well, him and Rack Torrance rode off this morning. Said he was going to the valley of the Yellowstone. Well, it did, eh? Bess, I wonder how you feel about Rack. Well, I'm civil towards him, seeing as how he's your brother. Stepbrother. Stepbrother. I'm civil to him as long as he's a guest here. That my personal opinion is that no self-respecting buzzard would touch him. Yeah, same way I feel. Rack Torrance is a skunk, Phil. You mind a piece of advice? Uh, no use telling you I don't. You give it anyway. Send him packing. Tell him to vamoose and stay that way. I wish you could, Bez. Well, why don't you? Well, he's my... He's your stepbrother. And he's poison. Tell him to fold his blanket roll and skedaddle. And don't start telling me it ain't hospitable to send a guest off, Phil Parker. A varmint's a varmint. I'll have to think about it, Bez. Hmm. I might have known you'd be soft-hearted. I wish he wouldn't play up to Jed, though. Jed's a good boy, a good son. Rack Torrance is no fit company for him. Well, you know, better get inside before them two-legged wolves leave you nothing but an empty plate, Phil. And take my advice yeah, about... Yeah, there they come. High time, too. Howdy, put the plate on the table. Well, they're sure riding lickety-split. Why don't they... Phil! Hey, what's eating them? They're taking the long way around. Going around the corral instead of straight here. Well, it might be a race to have, and it's fine time for... Land of Goshen, look at them loco idiots. They're not going around the corral. They're riding straight at it. Go at in blazes. Jed! Jed, you fool! They're aiming to jump the corral. Stop it! Pull up! Don't jump! It's too high! Rack Torrance, don't let him jump! Come on, Jed, I dare you. Open the bars! Yeah, there he goes. Get over it, boy! Oh, they cleared it. Six alive are going to try the other side, too. Oh, I can't look. It's all right, Phil. Nobody hurt this yes. time. Howdy, Pa. Howdy, Bess. See my pony clear the bars? And Rack bet he couldn't do it. Yeah, you almost didn't do it. Your horse took the bars on the second Rack. jump. Rack, Rack Torrance. Uh, 
What's eating you, Phil? You look mad. What are you trying to do? Keep a son killed? Oh, Pa, he dared me. I'll bet he did. Get inside for supper, Jed. You're late already. Sure, Pa. Get! Get after this. Let me know where you ride before you go, Savvy. Sorry, Pa. I didn't think it mattered much. Brack thinks I'm still a maverick, that's all. Guess I learned you different this afternoon, right? Guess I better get in there, too. See you later. Well, Phil, something else on your mind? Jed's got the makings of a black eye, Rack. Where'd you get it? Oh, him and me did a little wrestling around. Sure it wasn't fighting? Better ask your son. Thanks, you will. Rack, I don't think you'd better eat for the rest of us. I might say something I'd regret to any kin of mine. I'll uh, tell best to keep a plate of grub hot for you to eat later. Never mind, Phil. Eh? I said never mind. Figure I'll skip supper. I'm riding into Moundville. Well, that shoots me. Yeah. There's a gent there waiting to see me. Little private business. Adios, Phil. Just come in from my stepbrother's ranch to talk this here set up over with you, mister. I uh, ain't so certain it's going to be as easy as you made it sound. In other words, Taunt, your nephew's still alive. Yeah. Fool. I thought you were going to get rid of him. Well, I was. You went to the Yellowstone. What about that accident? It didn't pan out. A couple of riders drifted along at the wrong time. They stopped you? Mister, I couldn't push him in with them watching. Can't claim an accident that way. They also dared the kid into jumping his horse at the corral fences. Figured he might break his neck. He cleared him, didn't even spill. Never mind that, Torrance. These two riders at the Yellowstone. What about it? That's what I'm asking you. Were they suspicious? No, it didn't seem so. They thought we was fighting. You're certain? Yeah, Jed admitted he started it. And he did. I egged him into it. <laughs> what are you staring at me for? Wondering how much it would take to make you cave in, Torrance. What? You're a weakling. A coward, Torrance. Why, you you can't call me that. Sit down, Torrance. <laughs> I don't mind you joking, mister. I didn't know I was. <laughs> Stop laughing, it's not funny. You've got to take care of your nephew, Torrance. Sure I will. And soon. Well... Very soon. What about his father? What about Phil Parker? As soon as the boy's gone, I'll carry out my share of the bargain. Don't worry about that. I ain't worried. Phil Parker won't outlive his son by more than a day. Kino. Yeah, it better be. And do it quickly. The next time, it may not be just a couple of drifting cowhands will see you. It might be Parker himself. He'd start putting two and two together. Well, they weren't cowhands. Whatever they were. One was an engine, and the other rode a white horse and wore a mask. What? Say that again. An engine and a gent... Never riding. mind, I heard you. What's the matter, you know? Him? Never mind. Torrance, I've decided you need help. That boy's going to be finished tomorrow. Tomorrow? Hey, Snake, come here. Calling me, boss? Snake, this is Rack Torrance. Tomorrow morning, he'll be riding along Breakneck Rapids with young Jed Parker. Maybe Jed He'll won't. be riding with young Jed Parker. Snake, you'll make sure Jed Parker gets pushed into the rapids, understand? He'll drown. Nobody could live in that water. Yeah, Torrance, he'll drown. And don't worry, you won't be blamed. Just be out there tomorrow morning riding along the rim of Breakneck Rapids. Be there and have Jed Parker with you. Can you see where Rack Torrance and the boy are riding, Tonto? Um, they plenty far away. Riding along the bank of the rapids, aren't they? Ah, uh, that's not good. I agree with you, Tonto. We'll ride up closer and... Hello. He must hobby. Man right out to him. Push boy into water all at once. Look, they're riding off. The boy's in the rapids, and they're leaving him there. Uh, him not live long. Water plenty white, plenty bad. Ride for the rapids, Tonto. Get your rope. We've got to save that boy's life. Get him up, scout. Well, soon. Uh, the curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. Unseen by the cowardly killers, the masked man and Tonto would gallop toward Breakneck Rapids to attempt to save the boy. Meanwhile, Rack, Torrance, and Snake headed straight for the flying W spread, whipping their horses. As soon as they drew close to the ranch house, they fired the revolver in the air, yelling and shouting. Bill! Bill Parker! Brian W. Roast out! Brian W. Trouble! Bill Parker! Where's Bill? I'm St. Fort Ross. What's your the hole in for? What's the matter, Rack? Bill. Bill, I... Open your mouth. Speak up. It's Jed. Jed. What's he mean? What about my boy? What's happened to Jed? I, he, he... Their horses are wet. They've been in the river. Their clothes are wet. Yeah, yeah, Bess. We seen him from a way off. Me and Stake rode into the water. We tried to save him. You tried to... Speak up, dog, on your hides. What are you saying? Mr. Parker, your son Jed drowned in breakneck rapids. No, no, you're loco. We saw him riding way ahead of us. He left the ranch by his lonesome. Saddled his horse and rode off. I saw him go. Can't be... He's around here someplace. Jed! Jed! No use, Bess. I tell you straight, he's gone. Oh, the poor young'un. He's been inviting an accident. It wasn't no accident, ma'am. What's it? No accident. We saw it, Parker. Your son was pushed into the rapids by an outlaw wearing a mask and riding a white horse. He had a redskin with him. Yeah, Phil. We marked which way they went. We was too busy trying to save Jed to take after him. Brad, Harry, take us all, you gents. Sell your horses. We'll find those murdering yellow skunks. Sell your horses. We're riding for the rapids. Hey, my son. Rain up, rain up, gents. Right about here, Phil. White water deep and terrible. I see the tracks of the horses. Nobody could live through it. I'm obliged to you, Rack, for doing what you could to save them. You too, Snake. Oh, he only did what any man would do. I want you to forgive me for ever speaking hard words to you, Rack Torrance. Oh, I never took him to heart, Phil. You're the only king that got left now. I figured I'd be hand the flying to be arranged to Jed when I passed on. But now... Maybe you ought to head down to the foot of the rapids, Parker. Might find some sign of them. Yes, I reckon so. What is calm down there? I hope his soul has found as much quiet. All right, boys, let's travel. Am I, am I seeing things? Huh? Look, look yonder, on that bridge downstream. A man on the white horse, an engine on the pit. What? You mean they're really near the rappers like we said they... Uh, I mean, it's them. Yes, yeah, Snake, the outlaw and the engine. Well, those are the hombres that done it. I'm surprised they stayed around. Me likewise. They see us, Mr. Parker. Let them see us. Let him get a good look at us. A good close look face to face. Right after him and catch him, you savvy. Catch him. Don't let him get away. He must hurry. They ride this way to us. We'll wait for them, Tonto. They've got guns. We won't touch our guns no matter what happens. Oh, uh, what you say, Tonto do. But they plenty dangerous. And remember, no word about what we've seen or what's happened this morning. You understand? Uh, Tonto Savvy. Maybe they not wait. Maybe they shoot first, talk after. Keep your hands on your saddle horn. Sit easy. That's them! There's a coyote for gun it! Shoot! Shoot him down! Hold your fire! Don't let see the man pull trigger! These two hombres are mine to deal with, understand? Mine! Well, this looks like a posse, but I don't see any sheriff's badge. We don't need one for you. I say string them up! Sure! Feed the varmints a looped end of a rope! Yeah. No! No quiet, all of you! It's a powerful temptation. But all this lived according to the law, and I'll see these skunks hang according to the law. Mister, you and the engine are going to be locked up in my winter feed house. It's solid wood, and it's padlocked. Oh, you not do that. You not savvy what Otto. we... Ah, uh, you're right. Time to say nothing. Fred, you and the boys take these hombres back and lock them up good. Rack and Snake and me, we're going downstream. I want to find Jed's body. Mess man, he's going to be buried proper. And you'll be buried close after him. Otto. Uh, Someone coming. Um, this cabin not got wind and we not see. I can hear footsteps. It plenty dark outside. Dark inside, too. Our horses are in the corral. Uh, where we go when we get out? Wherever Rack Torrance and Snake went, Tonto. I have a good idea where that is. Kimasabi. He's at the door. Get ready, Tonto. We'll swing wide open in a moment. The door swung open. In the darkness, a few whispered words were hurriedly spoken. 
Then swiftly, as the door was closed and locked behind them, the Lone Ranger and Tonto moved through the darkness to the flying W Corral. Here, Silver. Here, Scout. As the Lone Ranger and Tonto called, the white stallion in the paint trotted across the corral. Quickly, they were saddled. Then... Hip. Put the bars back on the crowd gate, Tonto. Uh, now we go. Follow me to Moundville. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Come to Moundville for two reasons, Torlock. First to see you, and second to fetch the sheriff out to the flying W. The masked man's locked up? Him and the engine both. Parker aims to have him strung up in the morning. He wants the sheriff there to make it legal. It was a right lucky chance, Torlock. We made that story up out of whole cloth about the masked man and the redskin pushing the kid in the rapids. Yeah, we never figured on seeing him. When they let us ride up and capture him, you could have knocked me over with a tumbleweed. They didn't even go for their guns. That fact proves they didn't see you get rid of the boy, Snake. Huh? Torrance, right across the trail and wait there. Snake will join you in a minute. Oh, what for? Go ahead. When he joins you, you can go get the sheriff. All right, I'll be waiting. Just as well he doesn't know all of this, Snake. He's such a weakling, it might show in his face in the morning. I'm to get rid of Parker. Right. Rack Torrance will then inherit the flying W. He gives us a thousand cash for our part in getting in the ranch. Yeah, but he doesn't know what else we'll get. I don't savvy, Torlock. Don't be a fool, Snake. He'll be in our power because we'll know his secret. Yeah? Yeah. And any time the Black Arrow wants to use his ranch as a hideout or a base of operations, he won't dare refuse. So that's it. The Legion of the Black Arrow needs all the hideouts it can get. From the flying W, we can control the whole valley of the Yellowstone. You're right, smart hombre, Torlock. The Black Arrow thinks of everything, Snake. Sure looks that way. Now, what about Parker? How do I cut him down? Yeah, I brought your rifle in the saddle holster. Strap it to your saddle. I use this? The newest rifle there is. It's a range twice as long as any other. You and Torrance will get the sheriff, but you won't ride back with him. Uh-huh. You'll tell him you're staying in Moundville. After they're gone, you ride out of town and cross the Breakneck River above the ranch house. Circle down and get in position directly across from it. As soon as it's light, they'll be taking the masked man the engine out of that cabin. They'll give you a clear shot at Parker. And don't miss. It'll be easy, Torlock. It's a right good scheme. We'll have no trouble getting away. They can't cross the river at that point. They'll have to circle upstream, too. <laughs> I'll be miles away. That's all. I'm leaving you here. Go ahead and join Torrance. Kino, Torlock. Adios. Adios. Get up there. Hey, Snake. All set, Rack. Where's Torlock going to? Never mind, it's all set. Let's you and me amble. If you want to reach the flying W by dawn, we better get the sheriff. Get up there. Get up, get up there. Rack, Torrance, and Snake headed down the silent main street of the little town, and behind them, close to the spot where Torlock and Snake had talked, the leaves of a cottonwood rustled as two horsemen pushed forth in the deep shadows. Hello, you heard? Uh, me here. Torlock is behind this. Uh, Torlock go one way, Torrance and Snake go another. Who we follow? We'll have to leave Torlock for another time, Toto. Right now, we've got to make sure nothing happens to Phil Parker. That means we follow Torrance and Snake. Ah, uh, they go get Sheriff. Ride with me, Kimasabi. Here's what we'll have to do. Get him up, Scout. You and I must split up. At dawn tomorrow, Rack and the Sheriff will be at the Flying W. They'll be opening that cabin where we're supposed to be locked up. Come on, Sheriff. Get that lock open and bring out the prisoners. Still not real life, Parker. I can't seem to locate the keyhole. Hey, uh, you try it. This is your ranch. You're more familiar with it. It's strange, Phil. Yeah. You think the masked man and the engine will be stirring. I don't hear a sound from inside that cabin. Uh, most likely they don't feel much like talking. I'll get this lock open. Hey, Phil, Phil. Hey, what's the matter with you, Rack? I told you to fetch the prisoners' horses from the corral so that we can put, on, put them on the horses for the hay. I went to the corral, but the horses are gone. What? You're loco. They're gone, I tell you. The white stallion in the paint. There's no sign of it. But in thunder. Oh, they couldn't have escaped. Stand back. Let me open this door. It's plenty light enough now. All right, come out of there, you. Come out and... Oh, go on, you're right. The eight here. Empty, all right. Parker, what kind of nonsense is it? He was here last night. Who let him out? That door was locked from the outside and it stayed locked. Speak up. Who let him out? Rick? No, no, it wasn't me. Let him down. What the... Parker, look. Yonder across the river. It's a mess, man. Who's that he's fighting with? He looks like Snake. And he ain't fighting anymore. The masked man's got him with his hands behind his back. He's tying him up. Yeah, what in blazes is going on? You want to know, you ask Rack Torrance. The engine, where'd you come from? Nobody move. Tonto got gun. You, Torrance, you not move. 
Parker, mask man say, me tell you, Rack Torrance man who push your son in rapids. Yes. Billy's loco. Didn't you expect me to believe that? You believe, because it's truth. Mask man and Tonto see him. Rack Torrance and Snake try to kill boy. Now Snake try to kill you from Cross River. But masked man, get him. Engine, you're talking crazy. Sure he's talking crazy. He broke out of that cabin, him and the masked gent. Grab him, shoot him down. I don't know what he came back here for, but... Now you will not make move. I tell you why I come back. Mask friend, tell me, bring boy back. What's that? Boy? You mean dead? Uh, but he, he drowned in the rapids. He's dead. That's not true. Boy not drowned. Lone Ranger, him right into water with rope, pull boy out. He's here right behind cabin. Tie Ted. Howdy, Tonto. Jet. Jet, boy. The mass man and the engine told Bess and me you were all right after they rescued you from the rabbins. We were just playing a part to trap these varmints. Paul, what the engine said is true. Rack and Snake pushed me in. Rack wanted to inherit the ranch. Jed, why didn't you come back? Well, the mass man said not to, Bess. He said it was smarter for me to stay out of sight so this whole thing could be cleared up. And it was you who let them out of this cabin last night, wasn't it? It was you. Hey. Don't move, Rack. Sheriff, I reckon your duty is clear. Put that hombre under arrest. I got my guns on him, Phil. And what's more, we'll arrest Snake, too. He's tied up across the river. The engine, I want to thank you for... Uh, the engine's gone. He rode off. Oh, sure he did, Pa. Reckon he couldn't wait to join up with his part, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Javi, your plan worked plenty good. Torrance and Snake go to jailhouse. Now, what we do now? I'm Torlock, Tonto. He hasn't left Moundville. We... Well, what matter? Look, Tonto, what's that floating in the water? Ah, that glove floating in water. It come from upstream. That's where we're going, Tonto. Huh? You recognize this glove? Last night when we watched from the cottonwoods. Tonto, this glove belongs to Torlock. <laughs> you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.